Hi everybody, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. In today's video, I want to do a topic on why there isn't a do-it-all radio. I get a lot of questions on the business side of this, our radio programming line, and in comments about having a single radio that does everything. CB, GMRS, ham, you name it. Encrypted stuff, people ask for military frequencies to be installed, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I wanna get into why a lot of this is not possible. One, legal problems with manufacturing a radio like this, why it's not allowed to be made. Antenna theory, why HF and UHF and VHF doesn't work together. A lot of people want me to do a CB and a GMRS radio in one and why that wouldn't work and why the antennas wouldn't work. And the last thing we're gonna cover is modes, FM, DMR, P25, upper sideband, lower sideband, FM, AM, you know, you name it. We're gonna talk about modes and, and why those matter too. First of all, before I begin, I want to give a very quick explanation on what an unlocked radio is. So there's so much discussion on this. An unlocked radio is simply a ham radio that you can buy and sometimes they just come unlocked and they will work on the GMRS frequency. So it's a ham radio that can tune up into the GMRS frequency ranges and channels. And sometimes if you get like a UV5R type radio, what you have to do is just a button sequence and you can unlock that radio to transmit and receive on GMRS frequencies. That's all that that is. The first problem with doing a do it all radio is radios from the manufacturer have to be certified. Meaning if I want to make a radio and I want to sell it, it has to be something. Is this a ham radio, a GMRS type accepted radio with a GMRS sticker that certifies it that? Is it a CB radio or a 10 meter radio? Like it, it has to be something. You have to make it something to get it certified to sell in the United States. So generally speaking, there isn't a GMRS radio and a CB radio in one. It, it, it just can't be, it cannot be done legally. And this it brings me to my next point. It wouldn't work. CB is on the 11 meter band and GMRS is 70 centimeters. So that is the wavelength of those transmitted signals. So if you try to transmit CB out of a GMRS antenna, it wouldn't work at all. It, the SWR would be so high, you'd cook your radio, it would just never work. And vice versa, because GMRS is 70 centimeter, it's a really short little radio band going through the air, there's no point, and it probably wouldn't work. I've never tried this. I, somebody would have to try it. It wouldn't really work with an enormous antenna that CB radio would use. So every time you switch back and forth to listening and transmitting, if you had a dual radio like that, you'd have to change the antenna every single time you did it. One is HF and one is UHF. To help understand, I want to do a very brief explanation on radio waves and how they come off the antenna. So if you had a GMRS radio operating on 70 centimeters, to make a half wave antenna, you simply take the length of the wave and you cut it in half to make a half wave. So GMRS transmits a 27 and a half ish length wave going through the air. So if you cut that in half, it would be just about 13 and a half inches, maybe 13.75 inches. And you would need an antenna that was 13 and a half inches to make a half wave antenna to make the signal come out of it and make it work. And if you had a CB radio, which is 11 meters in the HF band, you would need a five and a half meter long antenna to make a half wave antenna. To make it work with that band reasonably with a good transmitting antenna, you would need a five and a half meter antenna to make that work. Now, before anyone else comments, I know there's eighth waves and all this, but this is just to make people understand this is a basic and just a half wave. That's typically what you want to do. And, and that's the way you would do it. This is why CB radios suck for handhelds and also why HF radios are never offered really in a handheld configuration. The HF bands that they use require such long antennas that you, you simply cannot fit a long enough antenna on the handheld that's HF to really make it work right. 
This is why most radios that are handhelds operate UHF and VHF space. They can put an antenna on them that makes that signal effective coming out of a shorter antenna due to their wavelengths being short. The last thing I want to talk about here is modes. So just because your radio is capable of tuning to a frequency doesn't mean it can listen to it or transmit there. I've had people call me who bought my radios who go into frequency mode and they will type in, let's say, a, a law enforcement frequency in New York City. And they have it on the frequency and all they can hear is like digital noises and static and stuff. Typical radios, like everything you see on Amazon and stuff, these are FM only. So what happens is just because you can get to that frequency doesn't mean you can listen to it. Your radio needs to also be capable of tuning to that mode. Another explanation of modes is the CB radio behind me. It is capable of AM, FM, upper sideband, and lower sideband. So just for explanation purposes here, let's say I have that CB radio on channel one in the CB channel chart, and I'm on AM. And the guy in my neighborhood, down the road, whatever, he is on FM. He's also on channel one. Our radios will not talk to each other because just because we're on the same frequency, we're on different modes so you wouldn't be able to hear each other. We would simply have to tune to the same mode and the same channel to listen and transmit to each other. So when you're shopping for a radio and you wanna to listen to something, look at the mode and the frequencies that it can listen to. All radios, when you buy them on Amazon or anything else, you will see this and it shows what frequencies it can tune to and the modes it can listen to. For instance, this K5 can do all of this UHF, but it can also do something interesting where it can listen to air bands on AM. But if you look, it's RX only, that's receive. So it can receive some air traffic control or automated weather systems at airports, but it cannot transmit there, it can listen only. I hope this clears up some things for everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.